Hello, Max NG7M here with another video related to the Elecraft K4. And actually, this video relates to anybody that's trying to capture HDMI output of a device and process that or capture that as a uh, webcam on their screen, um, on their computer, on their PC. So I've received a number of emails from those interested in the Elecraft K4. Of course, there's been a, a lot of activity there. The Elecraft's now shipping. Um, you know, they're approaching probably 400 K4 shipped now, if not more. And um, I've made a number of videos. There's been a lot of activity on my YouTube channel as far as me posting some videos because I've been excited about it since the first part of October. But I anticipated getting the, the uh, K4 and I knew that the remote app was not available yet, which is unfortunate, but I think it's coming hopefully pretty soon. And so once we have the remote app for the K4 from Elecraft, this really won't be as useful, but for me doing demo videos, it, it'll um, still be useful for me. I'm very happy with the solution that I came up with. And uh, so what I want to show you here today is a, a lot of guys are dedicating a whole monitor to the K4, which just does not seem practical to me, but to each his own. And I knew right out of the gate that I didn't want to do that. I've got a 4K monitor. I actually have two 4K monitors. One monitor you can't see where I'm running the uh, software that I use to create these videos. But I wanted to be able to video the native output of that HDMI port that's on the back of the K4. And so after some experimentation, I've been able to do that. And of course, you've seen that in some of my other videos. Well, so how is it that I'm doing that is the question I keep getting in, in email. Hopefully, this video will take care of that. Well, I, I experimented. Um, I knew that there were HDMI to USB adapters out there that are used in the streaming community. A lot of um, gamers out there like to do that. It'll do stream a Twitch feed of their what they're seeing on their screen. But I knew this would work well with the K4 because it's got that HDMI output with its single board computer there running Linux. And so I started off, I, I just got one of these, they're really popular, and I, I got one that converts the input um, to a 1080p or 1920 by 1080 to 30 hertz and I, I was able to get this one to work um, but it was just very intermittent didn't work very well and so what I stumbled across was uh, this device here I'm just gonna so you can see that I have the screen of the K4 windowed here right I can resize it and, and it looks nice right and I'm gonna minimize that I'll just show you what I came across I did a little research online and so this is what I have landed on and this has worked really well so at the time of this video, right, we're, um, you know, what is it, October 18th? I guess I should look at the date there. Uh, this is the device I purchased. It was $27 shipped. Looks like you can get a, a little more off the price there. And it looks exactly like this, except it comes with a little, a little pigtail. So if you have a tight fit into your USB input on your PC, you can then hang that off the back there and um, see what it looks like. Um, you, you know, it just makes it easy to hang off there. And then you just take, um, right here, you take another uh, HDMI cable and plug that directly into the back of your K4. Now, I also bought a splitter, so I, but I'm not going to do it. There's no need to have a dedicated monitor in my case. But I did get a powered HDMI splitter, so if I wanted to, I could still dedicate a full monitor to the K4 and then split it off to this video capture device. But the, the thing that's really nice about this particular device here is it presents itself as a webcam input. So then any software that you're running on your PC, you can select that as the device and capture the output. And that's all I'm doing, uh, to be honest, whether it's in OBS Studio or uh, just a standalone uh, webcam viewer software, which I'm actually, that's what I'm demoing, demoing in the video today. Now, just real quick, um, the device, it does run a little warm. I mean, just it's just warm to the touch, but it's been very reliable. I've let it run overnight. It's worked great. For my purposes and needs, it works great. And it's only video output. But um, as you'll see, you can also see the mouse. If you have a dedicated mouse plugged into the K4, you'll see that the mouse pointer is on screen here as that second monitor output of the Elcraft K4. So you can look that up. I'll put a link to this, and this this changes. You know how Amazon is. This may be some other um, supplier in the future, but the key here, the critical key here, is you want one that does 1080p at 60 hertz output. 
that has been very, very reliable on the video output for me. The, there's cheaper ones about half the price, like I mentioned earlier, that will do 30 hertz output. Don't waste your money on those. Grab one of these if you want to go this route. Um, it sure beats the price of dedicating a monitor, and it gives me everything I want to do until we finally get that IQ output from the K4 over you know an Ethernet connection um, via the LAN, and um, you know, and then again, this won't be nearly as important, right? I, I want to get that native IQ output um, so I can use the native um, spectrum display, for example, in N1MM, or maybe with a, a Win4 K4 suite, which will will come out soon here once Elecraft starts shipping the next beta release of their um, software for the K4. Uh, by the way, right now I am on R22 uh, actually and of the beta release of the software, so just reference it, October 18th, 2021. So I think I've given you all the details here. Hope you get the idea. It just takes you that HDMI output and presents it to your PC as a webcam. So that's all it is. So we'll go ahead and minimize this. So back to the software that I'm, I'm using here. Um, if I can find the icon down here. Um, what I've landed on as far as a viewer is concerned is for free in the Microsoft Store, Microsoft has a simple web, webcam viewer, which is nice. And that's what I'm demoing here right now. And um, in fact, let me um, give you one more shot of the little adapter there. Okay, there it is. That's, that's what it looks like. That's the reference on the size. But let me turn my video off here now. And I'll maximize this software. And so this is full screen. So you're seeing exactly what you would see on the um, display, you know, as I look down at my K4 to the, my lower left here. Now the mouse you're seeing right here is the actual mouse that you see on screen of the K4. So I can still, it's a dedicated mouse. This is a little bit clunky too, hopefully in their remote app that they come out with, you'll be able to just use your PC mouse, right? And then go over the software and select all the functions, right? I, I suspect you're going to see the VFO knobs. You'll be able to spin them visually on screen and all that. That's what we hope for when that software is released. But for now, I have a dedicated mouse plugged into the back of the K4, and you can see that mouse on screen here. So whether I'm in a window, um, so I can come back and window this, right? Drag it around, um, resize it, whatever. Make it small, make it big. Um, but then I, when I reach over and grab the mouse that's plugged directly into the K4, you can see that mouse on screen here. So I will just take this full screen again, and you're seeing my regular PC mouse here, but then when I move the dedicated mouse, then you see the cursor uh, for the Linux operating system on the display output from that second HDMI port. And so here I can use it just like I was touching the screen. So I can touch, reach over and touch the screen, and you're going to see that change, or I can use the mouse here and click and uh, you know move around I could change bands whatever whatever I want to do if I want to change the right I'm on the display now I can I'm using the VFOA uh, encoder and I'm changing the display with there and so the other thing you can do is go into the menu um, right now you have to go to the menu to change the uh, display output from the mirror the LCD or go to the uh, pan adapter and so I'll demo that now. You could set up a macro, one of the, you know, PF1, 2, 3, or 4 keys. I'm sure to change this setting here, but I'm going to do it manually. And I just use the mouse. And now we're going to switch the display. Now we're going to see the pan adapter. And so you'll see the uh, software now switch to the full-on pan adapter. Now to get back to the mirroring display, right, I'm going to have to, um, I could use the mouse and move the mouse back down. It's on screen here. I could move it back down onto the screen down here and go back into the menu, but I'm just going to do that with my finger here as we're talking and change back to the mirror, the LCD display. And so those bars that you see are actually when the device, the capture device doesn't have a signal, it'll display those multicolored bars. There's, that is not coming out of the, the uh, output of the K4 here. So that should give you an idea of how I'm making these videos. And I'm actually using um, OBS Studio to record my screen, which is 4K here. And so, you know, as I move it around, you see exactly what you're getting there on the screen. So for making videos, it's great. This applies to any, any uh, I suppose, 
transceiver out there that has uh, HDMI output, you could use this device to do that. So anyway, I hope that helps you. I'll put a link to the um, Amazon supplier where I got it. And uh, wow, somebody's really loud on uh, CW there. <laughs> a signal up there I just noticed on the screen. And they've got a wide signal. I don't know if that's somebody closer they're tuning up to me, but wow. Um, anyway, 73 for now. I hope that will answer some questions there and maybe give a stopgap to, to guys. You know, in the interim, it's nice to have that screen on where you're using your software. To me, I'd rather look at my screen rather than constantly be looking at the screen on the K4 for now. So, 73 everyone, and if you like this video, give me the thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel. 73, Max and G7M.